Pilot Prera has a lot of things going for it. But one of the things I've never really been too crazy about is how hard it seemed to clean out the cap when ink gets behind the cap seal. But recently I discovered that there's an easier way to do it, and I'm going to share that with you here right now. Hey, I'm Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and Ink Nouveau, and I've done a lot of videos of tips and tricks for various pens, and I've got another one for you here today. Uh, the Pilot Prera is a pen that's got a lot of good things going for it. Uh, it's a pen that I enjoy, but one thing that I've never really been so crazy about is the insert in the cap. Now, it does a good job of sealing up the nib so that it doesn't dry out, but it's bright white, and it kind of throws off the aesthetic balance of the pen a little bit, in my opinion. But the thing that I really don't like about it the most is because that insert is bright white and the cap is clear, it's really easy for when you get ink behind that insert for it to show up really bad. And it's really hard to clean out too. So I've always just kind of dealt with it and you know, it's always just been kind of a pain and something I've accepted. But recently I had somebody email me and really kind of probe me as to if there was an easier way to clean it out. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to really dive in and see what I can do. Now, some pens have it where it's easy to remove and it's just kind of friction fit inside there, but this pen's a little different. So I thought it warranted its own video. Uh, so here it is, I'm going to show you the trick on how to remove the insert and clean out the cap entirely for the Pilot Pereira. This here is the Pilot Pereira. It's a, it's a good pen, but you can very clearly see here that there is some ink behind that inner cap seal. Uh, now, I've cleaned out the cap itself, everything that I can reach, but you know, stuff gets back there. It happens actually with a lot of pens. It's just you usually don't see it quite as much, I mean, especially because the insert is white, really makes the ink stand out, uh, especially if it's a darker ink. Um, usually what you try to do to clean out this kind of thing is you you know, get some water, which I've got an ink syringe here with some water. So you'll kind of fill it up with water and try to shake it out, flush it out, you know, that kind of thing. And that'll kind of help, but then it just kind of dilutes it and the water gets behind there. And you know, you can just kind of leave it sitting there for a while and try to, you know, dry it out, but then usually it ends up kind of making it worse. So it looks pretty gross and until just a few days ago, I didn't really think about too much uh, how you might be able to clean that out. I just kind of accepted it and lived with it. Um, now, pens like the Pilot Custom 74, which is one of my all-time favorite pens, also a lot of the Twisby pens and other ones, other ones that are demonstrators that have inserts that you can see, usually you're in a situation where you can get those out pretty easily, just with a number two pencil and a rubber band like this. So you just kind of stick it in here you know, twist it, it kind of grabs it with friction and pulls the insert right out. And then you can clean behind it and go on your merry way. And then it just kind of sticks back in there, you know, poke it in, bam, done. Um, that's pretty easy to do, but the Prera is different. And that's why I wanted to do a video specifically on the Prera so that you could have an idea of how this thing works. Now this is the guts of the cap without the actual, you know, body of the cap. Or body might be a confusing word, but the the actual, you know, facade of the cap there. This is the inside of how it works. It's three pieces. It's got the white insert, it's got the clip, and then it's got the finial, which actually threads into this white insert. Okay, so I will unscrew it. So you can see that piece, there you go. So it's got a thread on it, a little post, and then that's how it fits on there. So it, understanding that gives you a little bit better idea of how this cap will disassemble. Um, the best way to do it, if you look on the inside of the cap, is you can kind of see that there is a square-ish kind of situation going on in there. Um, and what I found fits in there is actually a quarter inch driver. Uh, nut driver. So like if you have, uh, and then this is actually like an adapter piece for if you have any kind of socket set or anything like that, that quarter inch square head will actually fit directly into the cap and hold it securely. And that's just kind of handy. Um, but the thing that you're going to need to do is take a rubber band or maybe a, a one of those uh, rubber pieces that's used to open jar lids or you know um, they make uh, kitchen drawer liners that are kind of that rubbery material too. Really you just want anything rubber, rubber gasket material, bike, inner tube, you know anything like that. 
um, and you just kind of wrap it on there and grab it really tight with your fingers. You're going to want to keep that finial from spinning because it's, that's what it's going to want to do. And then you just take and twist in a counterclockwise motion with the driver and you can see that cap is moving and eventually it's just going to drop out. Your parts are going to come off and you can just poke the cap so that it comes out like that. And then you can actually clean the thing off. You can take a Q-tip, you can swab out the inside of the cap, really get the thing looking good and this thing is going to look brand new when you do this. Then to put it back in, all you do is just put it back on the insert or uh, on the driver, sorry. Put it in there. Now you do need to make sure that you line up the clip because there is a cutout right here. Let's see if you can see that. Uh, right there. So there's this little inset right in the top of the cap and that's where this clip needs to rest. Okay, it should line up with the word Prera down here at the bottom. So that should give you some, some guidance as to how it'll fit on there. And then this finial will just thread right on. And I find it's easier to try to hold the finial and then turn the driver rather than holding the driver and trying to turn the finial because there's not a lot to grip onto with this finial. Okay, and then you just want to make sure that your clip is set in there properly. And there you go. Now you have nice clean Prera cap, looks brand new again, you know, kind of clean out the inside because I got a little water there, and voila, it looks like new. Now, subsequently, you may not have to use the driver. It's just that first time, you know, it's kind of factory tight on there. So moving forward, you may be able to use the rubber band with the pencil to unscrew it and get it out of there. There we go, just like that. So it'll be easier ongoing. It's just that first time getting it is really tough. But once you do, you can clean it out, and then your Prera is good as new. You should be able to enjoy your Prera a little bit more now. Maybe you can use this tip for some of your other pens too if you like to fiddle around. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything, just hit me up in the comments. I'm happy to chat. Thanks so much for spending time with me today, and right on. <laughs>